Today, we're going to be talking about how to build your Pocket Square collection. Hi, I'm Leah from Rampling Co. and today I'm joined by fashion consultant Chris Modo. Hi, Chris. Hi. So, Pocket Squares, where do we start? Good place to start, I would say, is plain white. It goes with everything. Uh, my favourite form white is linen. It's crisp, and as it, have it has it here, and that simple fold, it goes with any suit, any jacket, any shirt and tie combinations. That's a really good place to start. If you're a nervous pocket square wearer, start with one of those. Once you've done that and you want to sort of expand, plain silk gives you more options because there's two ways of wearing it, or at least two ways of wearing it. You can either do a, a simple fold or push your points out. I personally not such a fan of these these days. I think they're, they're better options. I prefer colour, design or texture, but these are still quite popular. This is far more what I prefer for a plain. This is a woolen silk blend in this beautiful ivory colour. So it's still conservative, but I just think the texture gives it another element. Um, one thing to remember about cream, although it's very versatile, I don't like it with white. If you put cream with white, it makes the, it looks dirty, it makes the white look too stark. But it's still a lovely thing to have. Again, when you're building your pocket square collection, go for quality, build them up over time, it's worth paying a little bit extra for getting well-made ones because they last a long, long time. Is there a difference in how to fold them from, let's say, a plain to a patterned pocket square? No, no, you can, you can, you can use exactly the same folds, but obviously the effect will be different. I think when you go into fold, when you get into pattern, sorry, like a classic repeat pattern, which is a good place to start, how you fold it, not only will it affect the shape of the handkerchief, you'll see different parts of the design. So you've got a repeat pattern here in the centre, and more of a paisley at the edge. So by, by how you manipulate the fold and how it's tucked into your pocket, you'll see a different part of the design. So you get more features, I think, once you've got a pattern. This is a really good place to start. Gold, blues and reds, so they fit into a classic colour combination. Navy suits, charcoal suits, most shirts, we look, we look very elegant with that. Key to it is you're looking to uh, complement your tie and not to match it. So it's not about matching your ties, it's about picking colours out and contrasting textures. Would you say that there are key colours that you should have in your um, pocket square wardrobe? Sure, I think gold is a useful colour. because It pops, it looks lovely against warm colours, Against you can also wear sort of, sort of tweedy colours. Um, and also, if you wear a lot of grey, I think navy blue is a, is a, a neglected pocket square colour. I think this is lovely, this is a madder silk, so it's got that really lovely, slightly dusty handle to it, beautiful texture. But I think that into a mid-grey suit and a white shirt and any time would look very elegant. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Chris, tell us about this particular pocket square. This pocket square has a printed um, graphic design on it. It's a much larger scale design, so how you fold it really affects the colours you can see in it. You've got probably 15, 20 different ways of, of, of showing it, being how you fold it. The advantage of this um, is that it's far more flamboyant. If you need it to be, or it can be more conservative, which means you can wear it with a wide range of accessories. I particularly like this style of pocket square, worn slightly sort of smart casual when you wear an open neck shirt and just a pocket square can make the pockets because the pocket square becomes a feature or where you have it with a plain tie again the pocket square becomes a more interesting part of the outfit. Chris I see you've gone for a pattern tie tell me about this look. Yeah I just want to illustrate um, how you can coordinate your pocket squares with your ties and you only need a few pocket squares and a few ties to get multitude of combinations. This is a, a subtle quite grown up tie it is a madder silk, so it's got that lovely sort of subtle texture to it, and it's a very discreet pattern. And the way it reflects light is quite dull, so I've combined that with a printed silk square, which is then quite shiny, so you're contrasting matte and shiny. This has got a very small pattern, this has got a large pattern, but what brings it together for me is the colours in it. Those warm sort of tanny browns are echoed in the pocket square, so you're, you're seeing similar shades. There's, there's a, a relationship, but they're not matching. Chris, talk us through this look. What I'm showing here is the benefits of having hand-stitched edges in the pocket squares. It can seem a little bit of an extravagance to put handwork, which is often not seen. But the great advantage is, as I've shown here, is that the pocket square actually will sit with the point sent up, looking interesting. Now, the combination is quite flamboyant. It's a very monochromatic look, look here, blues and whites. So I've gone for complete contrast, bright colours. Not everyone's taste, but I like this look. Um, but it just shows you 
you see the nuances and the handwork onto it. So it looks expensive, it looks rich, it's a connoisseur's look. All the products featured are linked in the description below. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.